I'm sorry. I, I have to go. I made a promise to my friends and I'm already very late. But, Madame, you're still... Don't try to stop me. Today's the most important day for treating Phelpsy. We'll use the guidance method. Didn't you also say that you'd think it'd work? I'm not trying to stop you, Madame. It's just... <sighs> Could you tell me the name of your child? Dr. Jalakan, how can you forget the name of your own patient? His name is Thalxi. He's the Prince of the Kingdom of Water Imps. We will go today to reclaim his crown and attend his coronation ceremony. I see. Madame, please rest assured, everything is still on schedule. Your friends have already departed to find... Wait, look, they've already returned. Paimon, everyone, have you really? Yes, but the coronation ceremony still hasn't taken place, because we felt like you should be the one to preside over it. Wonderful, how wonderful! Thalxi, my child, my child, are you hearing this? Everything you lost will now come back to you, and soon, very soon, you will never be lonely again. And the last page of the picture book. It's still waiting for you to illustrate in color. Right. The picture book. The picture book. But I don't know what I should put on the last page. Don't worry. Thuxi and his friends all know what she got it. Get ready, Zuria. We'll describe everything for you. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> At last! and his friends were able to drive off the final invading monsters and achieve a dashing victory! Their success was complete, and the recovered crown resplendent! The water imps, finally returning to their homes, showered the prince with love and applause as he greeted them. They once again offered their precious shells to the prince and reconstructed the rainbow bridge of old. As he watched the scene unfold, the prince could not help but be touched by its beauty. Moved by everyone's happiness, the prince stepped onto the Rainbow Bridge and took a good look at all the friends who had gone on the journey with him. There stood the Traveler, Goddess Paimon, Fremine, and... Huh? Where's the last person? The prince looked frantically around, but could not find the person he wanted to see most. At that moment, the person suddenly appeared on the other side of the bridge. She walked towards him with a smile and slowly lifted her veil. The prince could not hold back his tears. He recognized then that the mysterious person that had been by his side the whole time was none other than his mother. Surya walked across the bridge and placed the crown above the prince's head. She smiled down upon him as she said, My prince, my king, you shall never, ever need to feel lonely again. That's the end of the story, Surya. Thank you. Thank you all. I am so sorry, my child. Maman should have spent more time with you. Did you hear the story? You'll never have to feel lonely again. Mama loves you, too. Uh, what's happening? Is Zuria talking to Thelxy? Quick, put on my diving helmet. There's a transcription module in it that's compatible with Thelxy's output signals. You should be able to use it to understand what Thelxy's saying. Hmm. 
Mama, Mama loves you too. But I love you more, Mama. What? Did you see something? Mama, I'm getting a little sleepy. If it's time for bed, can you hum a lullaby to me again? Of course, my dearest child. As long as you want to hear it, Mama will always hum for you. Thank you, Mamon. Your lullaby has always been my favorite. Now that I've heard it, I can return to my dream, and to the kingdom of water imps, in peace. <sighs> my poor darling. Please don't forget, I will always love you. My love is... greater than the entire distance between here and the kingdom of water imps. <laughs> I won't forget, Mamon. And so is my love for you. Greater than the entire distance between here and the kingdom of water imps. Good night, Mamon.